King George III of the United Kingdom and his wife Charlotte of mecklenburg strelitz had 15 children. Despite this, for a long time George III only had one legitimate grandchild, Charlotte of Wales. His sons were content to have mistresses and because contraception was very uncommon back in the 18th and 19th centuries, many children resulted from their relationships. Some of his sons did marry, but without permission from the monarch so these children were not considered to be in the line of succession. This video will focus on the illegitimate grandchildren of King George III. Only recognised grandchildren will be talked about in this video. George IV had one daughter, Princess Charlotte of Wales. George IV may have had many more children outside of marriage, but none have been confirmed. Frederick, Duke of York and Albany reportedly had numerous children outside of marriage, but he never acknowledged any of them. William IV had 10 children with his mistress Dorothea Jordan. George Fitzclarence, 1st Earl of Munster, was the eldest child of William IV. He was born on the 29th of January 1794. After his parents separated in 1811, he saw little of his mother. He went on to serve in the army during the Peninsular War and in India. On the 18th of October 1819, George married Mary Wyndham and had seven children with her, Adelaide, Augusta, William, Frederick, Mary, George and Edward. His father created him 1st Earl of Munster, 1st Viscount Fitzclarence, and first Baron Tewkesbury on the 4th of June 1831. George was unhappy with the provisions made for him and had many conflicts with his father. Ultimately, they became estranged. George gained the rank of Major General in the British Army and held the office of aide-de-camp to King William IV between 1830 and 1837. He was also aide-de-camp to Queen Victoria, his first cousin, between 1837 and 1841. On the 20th of March 1842, George died by suicide. He had struggled with his mental health most of his life and there has been speculation since that he may have suffered from porphyria, which afflicted his grandfather and other members of his family. Henry Fitzclarence was born on the 27th of March 1795 and died unmarried in India in 1817. Sophia Sidney, Baroness de Lille and Dudley was born in August 1796. She was the eldest daughter of William IV. On the 13th of August 1825 she married Philip Sidney, 1st Baron de Lille and Dudley and had four surviving children with him. Adelaide, Ernestine, Sophia and Philip. In January 1837, Sophia was appointed state housekeeper of Kensington Palace. She died three months later in childbirth. She was her father's favourite child and her death caused her father immense grief. She was remembered as being witty and charming. Lady Mary Fox was born on the 19th of December 1798. She was described as being pleasant. She married Charles Richard Fox on the 19th of June 1824. They had no children together. They lived at Little Holland House before moving to Canada in September 1829, when Charles resumed active army service. When her father succeeded to the throne as King William IV, he was anxious to see his daughter return home and had Charles transferred. In 1837 she published a novel titled An Account of an Expedition to the Interior of New Holland. Lady Mary served as a housekeeper at Windsor Castle during the latter part of her life. She died on the 13th of July 1864. Lieutenant General Lord Frederick Fitzclarence was born on the 9th of December 1799. He was commissioned as an officer in 1814. While captain in the Coldstream Guards, he commanded a small group of guards to act in support of the police with the arrest of the Cato Street conspirators in 1820. On the 19th of May 1821, Frederick married Lady Augusta Boyle, 
and they had two children together, Augusta and William. He gained the rank of Commander-in-Chief of the Bombay Army in 1852. He died on the 30th of October 1854. Elizabeth Hay, Countess of Errol, was born to Dorothea Jordan on the 17th of January 1801. She married William Hay, 18th Earl of Errol, on the 4th of December 1820 and had four children with them, Ida, William, Agnes and Alice. She died on the 16th of January 1856. Lord Adolphus Fitzclarence was born on the 18th of February 1802. He attended boarding school in Sunbury on Thames before being sent to sea in 1813. He served as a midshipman aboard Newcastle based in North America and the Mediterranean Sea. He rose through the ranks reaching the rank of captain in 1824. Once his father became king he took command of the royal yacht Royal George. His father granted him and his siblings the rank of a younger son or daughter of a Marquess in 1831, enabling him to be titled Lord. He was knighted in 1831. His father appointed him Groom of the Robes in 1830 and a Lord of the Bedchamber in 1833. Adolphus retained command of the royal yacht when his cousin Victoria became Queen in 1837 until he was promoted to Rear Admiral in 1853. In 1848, he was appointed a naval aide-de-camp to the Queen and retained the office until his death on the 17th of May 1856. He never married and had no children. Lady Augusta Gordon was born on the 17th of November 1803. In 1818, Augusta and her siblings were granted a pension of £500 each. When her father became king, she and her siblings were allowed to attend court, but their presence annoyed the king's sister-in-law, the Duchess of Kent, who felt the Fitzclarences were a corrupting influence for her daughter, Princess Victoria. The king was annoyed by the treatment of his children by the Duchess. On the 5th of July 1827, Augusta married the Honourable John Kennedy Erskine, who was made an equerry to King William in 1830. They had three children together, William, Wilhelmina and Millicent. John died months before their youngest daughter was born. Augusta married her second husband, Lord Frederick Gordon, on the 24th of August 1836. They had no surviving children together. They settled into Augusta's residence, but were forced to leave due to Augusta's first husband's parents living next door and being angered by her second marriage. Augusta turned to her father for help and he granted her apartments in Kensington Palace and the position of state housekeeper. She passed away on the 8th of December 1865. Lord Augustus Fitzclarence was the youngest son of William IV by his mistress, Dorothea Jordan. He was born on the 1st of March, 1805. Augustus had a religious calling and his father appointed him a chaplain in 1829. That same year, he was presented with the vicarage of Maple Durham. A year later, he was appointed chaplain in ordinary and chaplain to Queen Adelaide in 1832. He went on to study at Trinity College, Cambridge, receiving his Bachelor of Law in 1832 and Doctorate of Law in 1835. He married Sarah Gordon on the 2nd of January 1845, a relative of his sister Augusta's husband. They had six children together, Dorothea, Eva, Beatrice, Augustus, Henry and Mary. Mary was born after Augustus's death. Augustus passed away on the 14th of June, 1854. Amelia Carey, Viscountess Falkland, was the youngest child of William IV by his mistress Dorothea Jordan. She was born on the 21st of March, 1807. She was nicknamed Millie by her family and married Lucius Carey, 10th Viscount Falkland on the 27th of December, 1830. Their only son, Lucius, was born on the 24th of November, 1831. 
Amelia died on the 2nd of July, 1858. Prince Augustus Frederick, Duke of Sussex, had two children born in a marriage in contravention with the Royal Marriages Act, 1772. Sir Augustus Deste was born on the 13th of January, 1794. His parents were Prince Augustus, Duke of Sussex and Lady Augusta Murray. His younger sister also shared both parents. As an infant, his surname was Hanover, but was later changed to Deste. He attended Harrow School. In 1811, he was commissioned into the army as a lieutenant in the 7th Regiment of Foot. In 1822, Augustus purchased the rank of Major in the 11th Regiment of Foot. He continued to rise through the ranks and was granted the brevet rank of Colonel in 1838. His uncle King William IV appointed him a Knight Commander in the Civil Division of the Hanoverian Guelphic Order and a British Knight Bachelor in 1830. He was on the Civil List Pension and was appointed Jeopardy Ranger of St James's Park and Hyde Park. Augustus was an active member of the Aborigines Protection Society. He gave considerable assistance to Peter Jones, a missionary who argued that Native Americans were entitled to their land in Canada. When Augustus' father died in 1843, he attempted to claim the Dukedom of Sussex and other peerages, but was barred by the House of Lords, who stated that his parents' marriage had been null and void. Even if he had succeeded, the title would have become extinct. As Augustus never married, Augustus was the earliest recorded person to have a definitive diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. He was not diagnosed during his life, but he left a detailed diary describing 22 years of living with MS. In his later years of life, he was confined to his bed, but remained optimistic about life. He passed away on the 28th of December, 1848. Augusta Wilde, Baroness Truno, was born on the 11th of August, 1801. Not much is known about her earlier life. In 1845, she married Sir Thomas Wilde, Baron Truno. She was his second wife and they had no children together. She became a stepmother to his three children from his first marriage. Augusta suffered from asthma most of her life and spent autumn in Europe. Her husband passed away in 1855. She passed away on the 21st of May, 1866, in London.